Hi guys, I'm Hayden Crawford from the Dreamtime Academy and I'm a wellness coach and spiritual teacher specialising in colour therapy and numerology. Here is your Starseed Oracle forecast for the second two weeks of January 2022. Okay, so first things first, we're moving out of Capricorn and into Aquarius on the 20th. Now Aquarius is a an air sign, but it's actually the water carrier and it relates to turquoise energy, which coincidentally also relates to the universal month that we're in at the moment, which is a seven because we're in 2022, plus we're in January, you have the two, two, two and the one together and it brings in Neptune. So it's this beautiful energy of exploring the deeper meaning behind life and learning through your own experiences. So it's a real look at the subconscious mind and what's going on beneath the surface. It also relates to emotions that are carried within the heart center. 2022 adds up to a six and that brings in the energy of Venus, which is pink energy, pink over pink, which is all about heart related um, powers and unconditional love towards the self as well. So we've got this beautiful heart energy that's around us, which connects us up to our Pleiadian and our Syrian star family. So we've got the influence of both of these cosmic cultures really around us for the whole of the month of January. Now, Aquarius also relates to technology as well. And turquoise is a very um, beautiful color, which which really aligns perfectly with technology. So this is kind of like an underlying theme that runs throughout of the second two weeks of January, okay? So we'll come back to that in just a second. Now, as usual, I'm gonna uh, show you three separate cards, one that represents a message that comes through from your ego or your conscious mind. The second card, which reveals uh, a message from your soul or your subconscious. And the third one, which is an action step for you to take during the second two weeks of January. To, so you can best navigate the highs and the lows and the ups and downs of the month ahead. Okay, brilliant. So before we do that, I'm going to um, do a little uh, cosmic alignment with you so you can reconnect to both of your Pleiadian and Syrian star family. So I'd, I'd like you to put your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath in as usual. And just imagine yourself surrounded by a flickering pink and turquoise light. Okay, and I want you to ask for clear and concise information that you can understand, integrate and anchor into your awareness during the second two weeks of the month. Brilliant. And then just open your eyes up again. And first of all, I just want to tell you a little bit more about your Syrian star family, because your Syrian um, star family really are androgynous okay so they uh, help you to rebalance your divine masculine and feminine energies and in the color mirror system g22 is called sacred mystery which is a nice take on sacred mastery but it's the opposite of that and uh, that's the 22 of 2022 so it's kind of the new earth energy colors which is this beautiful kind of cosmic platinum over over olive now sirius otherwise is known as the blue planet and it's been blessed with uh, with multiple suns. And as we evolve as a human race, we're heading towards more towards a Syrian culture on this planet. So that's why it's really big in 2022. And 2022 um, also relates to the forgiveness bottle, which is deep magenta over magenta. Um, magenta is about forgiveness, um, overcoming guilt that we might be carrying around within our soul, okay? And of course, the Syrians are really big on that because they help us to remember uh, to forgive ourselves or, or let go of um, past traumas that may have affected us on some level. Forgiveness is one of the best forms of healing and the Syrians recognize that guilt is the biggest misunderstanding of all and they also help you to realize that you wouldn't have experienced shock and trauma or abuse if you hadn't on some level had a need to learn forgiveness. Now remember this is never about condoning behavior but this is about um, forgiving yourself then forgiving others and then finally forgiving your creator so you can set yourself free. Okay, the Pleiadians, on the other hand, carry the vibration of this beautiful heart center energy and it's turquoise and pink together. And actually the Pleiadians are so gorgeous because they really just want you to remember to love and accept yourself just as you are. 
They want you to rebalance your emotions. They want you to enjoy exploring your sensuality and your sexuality. They're quite um, free spirited actually as a star race. So these cosmic beings are almost like wrapping their angelic wings around you and, uh, and, and helping you to become the best version of yourself and step into your highest and brightest light and power. Okay, so I'm gonna move into taking a look at the card that represents a message from your ego. Now, it's actually the inner earth, the inner earth that comes up here for you, okay? And uh, and this one is um, otherwise known as Agatha, the inner world. So Dolores Cannon talks about um, places like Lemuria, which exist um, underneath Mount Shasta, and, uh, and they are um, in a in a world dwellings um, where fifth dimensional beings of light exist um, and they have already um, aligned beautiful to their cosmic hearts um, but it's also you know beings from Atlantis went there as well and um, and and this beautiful vibration that exists within a subterranean uh, city called Telos underneath Mount Shasta is, is where a lot of the Lemurians um, exist on a fifth dimension and they're just waiting for us to raise our vibration back up again so that we can rejoin them and uh, unite in all of that sort of cosmic glory. So it's something definitely we're, we're moving towards and, uh, and we're actually aligning with it beautifully as we move through 2022. Now it is new beginnings, the inner earth. So it actually brings in the energy of Sobek, which is one of the ancient Egyptian gods. And he was the water god. And, uh, and actually this is beautiful kind of solid gold over turquoise again. And whenever you get this color combination coming in together, it's very, aligned to new beginnings and starting afresh and you know helping you to release old emotions frozen emotions or stuck patterns so it's new solutions are presenting themselves for you so your pleiadian and uh, syrian fat star families are saying look don't worry you know you will be presented with solutions that you're looking for you might not necessarily have them when you want them but as these two weeks unfold they will find a way of slipping through the cracks and um coming into your conscious awareness so that you can take the necessary guided action. So new beginnings and new solutions, you'll find that by going in. Remember that the seven energy of Neptune is all about the subconscious mind. So you will find your solutions from within. So make sure that you take plenty of time to meditate and, uh, and reconnect, even if that's just going into relaxed awareness, just exploring what's going on beneath the surface. So the card that comes up as a message from your soul is the Courageous Peony, the Courageous Peony. Now I love this card because this one um, really is all about you finding the confidence from deep within yourself to be able to shine your light into the world. So no longer can you have a fear of visibility or hide your light. You have to, you know, really be a beacon of that and allow all the unique and quirky facets of your nature to be um, sort of um, downloaded to all of the people around you. And you might find that the best way for you to be able to share this beautiful light is through technology, okay? So maybe through social media or through broadcast or, or the media. And, you know, You've got to recognize that you are a unique, multifaceted, ancient, immortal being of light, living out a temporary human experience. So you've got to let yourself be seen. You can't hide in the shadows anymore. It's not the time for that. So it brings in the energy of the fire phoenix from the trauma team, which is this beautiful solid gold of orange. And the fire phoenix is, it kind of rises out of the ashes from an old way of being, finds the confidence to do a firewalk to be able to um, be the person that you came here to be during your current life experience. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so then we've got the action step that your Pleiadian and Syrian star families want you to take during the second two weeks of January 2022. And what a beautiful message that they've given us today. And it's actually the cosmic heart is the card, the cosmic heart. And, um, you know, what I love about the cosmic heart is that it is the spiritualization of the heart chakra so it, it it actually is violet and rose pink energy coming together 
Okay, so the lilac or violet represent the spirit and rose pink is about the is divine love and, and unconditional love. So it's spiritualizing the heart center. So this is really about um, opening your cosmic heart to more love and but 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 finding ways of being able to reconnect to spirit as well so when you realize that you are a multi-dimensional being of light you can also hone and maintain and explore your unique um cosmic relationships as well and and that's why you know your star families are, are coming so close to you at the moment because they want this interaction with you and they can best do that through the temple of your heart. So this is about devotion. This is about potency. This is about amplifying your feelings towards yourself and other people. And it's about making your life a moving prayer. So what you pray about, what you ask for when you go inward and, you know, you set intentions for yourself, you know, it's about living in that space all the time you know and not seeing it as being something separate to you it's about you're there now you know when people ask me when you know we're going to ascend to the fifth dimension i i don't say well it's 10 years down the track or two years down the track i say it's happening now because we have the ability at this moment in time and especially during 2022 to be able to fully um you know fully integrate our fifth dimensional consciousness by just simply recognizing that it exists now and and feeling the joy. So hopefully you've uh, connected with what I said today. I'll be back next month with some more fantastic Starseed Oracle forecasts. So remember to subscribe to this channel and click the bell for future notifications and also click the link below and get your free video numerology report, which will unlock the secrets of your unique personality blueprint. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.